You think we could get him in on the dog beach? <laughs> I don't know about it. <laughs> hey, it's all right, buddy. Hey guys, today's video is sponsored by Harry's. So you guys may or may not know, but I have been using Harry's razors for probably two years now. I used to have to shave every day when I was in law enforcement, when I was a trooper. Now I just have to get this scruffly stuff off my neck. I can't stand that. So I've been using Harry's, like I said, for probably two years. And I've kept going back to Harry's for, for two years now because it's just a great shave, good, close, comfortable shave. I can't use those cheap disposable razors because I just break out in this awful, blah, irritated mess, and I hate that. So I, I really like Harry's razors and the foaming shave gel, their body wash, their deodorant, the whole, the whole line of products Harry's has, I, I pretty much use it all and love it. So Harry's is a personal care brand that delivers a close, comfortable shave at a fair price for as low as $2 per refill. And they also support great causes as they give back 1% of their global sales to nonprofit organizations that provide mental health care for those that need it. So there's a lot of things that makes Harry's different from other companies. First off, they have their own factory in Germany where they make their, their razor blades, not the whole kit, but the actual blades are German engineered and they, they just, I don't know, the cartridges have like five, the cartridges have five blades in them and they just do such a great job. So one thing about Harry's is you don't have to have a subscription. A lot of people see these videos and they think you have to subscribe. You can just buy the stuff outright. You don't have to subscribe, but the reason we push the subscription thing is it gives you a good discount. I trust Harry's and they do a good job for me. So if you go to harrys.com slash arms, you can redeem that for a trial set. This is the trial set and what you get, just like always, every time I introduce this stuff, you are gonna get the weighted handle with one five blade cartridge, the travel case to go over, then a bottle of their amazing shave gel. This stuff is, it's the bomb. So that's what you're gonna get if you sign up. Go to harrys.com slash arms. So thanks to Harry's for sponsoring today's video. We're gonna be sharing some alpacas so I couldn't think of a better video to let Harry's help us out on than shearing some alpacas. We're not gonna be using any Harry's products on the alpacas, but uh, it's gonna be fun. Well, what's up guys? This is Daniel from Arms Family Homestead and uh, huh, it's raining, but uh, we've got to shear the alpacas today. We've got four alpacas and it's July 1st. We're, we're at the 1st of July and they need to be sheared really bad. They're uh, pretty shaggy, but we're going to work on getting them sheared. My wife's, uh, my wife's father is here, my father-in-law, and uh, some people call him Grumpy. All our kids call him Grumpy, um, but uh, he's also known as the head herdsman over at Cross Timbers Bison. Kevin's the one that helps Dusty take care of all the bison, but uh, he's worked for exotic, exotic animal farms and stuff in the past, raised a lot of sheep, so he shears sheep and things. So he's the one that helps us shear alpacas. It may be an interesting thing. We're gonna try to do it in the barn. I'm gonna use the front end loader on the tractor to tie off onto. Hmm, we'll see how it goes. So we moved all the alpacas since it was kind of rainy and nasty into this little alleyway it's kind of dark back here right now but they're all just laying down because as you can see it's been rainy and muddy so we wanted them clean well we want them clean and dry they are definitely not clean but they are dry back up lucy all right lucy you're up. Come on, Lucy. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. You weren't here last year, were you? Yeah, I was. Were you? I couldn't remember. I thought maybe you were at school. What do you think, Brooks? What's Grumpy doing? It's a team sport. Huh? I think this will be a little bit cleaner than last year. What do you think? Yeah. It was a mess. It was. What you doing? Oh, Lucy, just taking it like a champ, aren't you? Holy cow. Look at that. 
she's so hot. Yeah, that's why we want to shear them so they stay cool. Oh, she's not hot. Not that hot. Warm, we want though. to shear them off so they can stay cool. You think about how big of a heavy coat she's wearing right now. What would it be like for you walking around out here with a coat on that thick? Um, I would be pretty warm. She is not sure. <laughs> What is that? I'm not sure who's more confused. Lucy? Or Brooks. Earl or Brooks? <laughs> Pretty neat how you can get it off all in one piece, huh? Lucy, you look like a different girl. All right, let's go back in here with mom. Come on. Excuse me, Dolly. Come on. Come on. Come on, Lucy. Come on, Lucy. Oh, my goodness, girl. There you go, Lucy. You look so small. Better mind your manners or you'll be next. It sure is nice having a dry barn to, <laughs> to keep animals from getting soaked and muddy and then having the shop to be able to clip them in there is amazing. Uh, they just look so much different when they're clipped. Look at Rufus compared to little Lucy back there. He's, he's obviously a lot bigger than her, but they just look so much different. Rufus, you wanna go next? I think so. Rufus and I have a love-hate relationship. He just loves to hate me most of the time. We're gonna leave him tied up for just a little while. And Tina, it looks like you'll be last today. You catching a peep at Dolly in there? Hmm? Look at you, Dolly. Dolly wants to come say hi. Don't spit in anybody's face, Dolly. <laughs> Here, you know where to go, don't you? There you go. Wait your turn, Tina. You gotta wait your turn. Come on, Rufus. Good job, Brooks. <laughs> Good job. Show Daddy. Step on the pad. Are you videoing for us, Brooks? Hey, look. Can you turn it around? Look. 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 
Hey. Hey, wave at it. Wave. Okay, here. Rufus, buddy, you're half the man you once were. Yep, literally. You're about half the man. You want to stand in front of the fan for a minute? Does that feel good, buddy? Earl, you're going to get kicked. Rufus, your hair's blowing in the wind. Feel good? Let's go see your girls. Come on, Rufus. Hey, there's a door there, bro. Come on. Come on. Hi. Tina, you're the only one left, babe. The last melon. You ready? Tina. She's very fluffy. Is it Steve? What do you want, buddy? Hmm? What do you want? I didn't bring you any treats. Oh, well, if you don't want to be my friend, if I don't have any treats, then be that way. All right, so it's been a couple days since we sheared the alpacas, and uh, before we, I, we got something very exciting. We're gonna do something fun today, but uh, before we get too far, I wanted to tell you guys, there's several different ways to shear alpacas now i'm sure you've seen a lot of people do it where they tie their front feet together and their back feet together and stretch them out and lay them down that's actually a very good way to do it it's very calming to them they uh they don't seem to fight that way but the way my father-in-law just prefers to do it is to leave them standing up tie them up and uh, our animals are not uh they're not pets they weren't they weren't show animals so they're not uh, i mean they are pets but they weren't show animals so they're not super comfortable with you just messing with them and touching them. They don't like their heads and faces to be touched and things, but they're pretty calm and gentle. However, we uh, were not able to completely finish shearing <laughs> Tina. My father-in-law had some problems with his clippers the other night and hasn't had a chance to get any blades and been able to come finish Tina. So she looks a little silly but uh, they look so much different after they're sheared i mean rufus bro you were looking pretty manly with all that hair you had on now look at you you skinny little fart <laughs> everybody's just kind of laid up in the shade so the plan is uh, i'm gonna get these guys up to the barn if they'll cooperate and uh we're gonna put them on a halter and a lead rope and take them down to the creek because these alpacas absolutely love water they love sprinklers they love a tub of water we took them down to the creek once last year and they had a great time they just look so much different after you shear them it's just crazy isn't it lucy so uh tina looks a little funny no 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 uh no jokes <laughs> but uh tina's you know three quarters of the way sheared it just <laughs> his uh clippers got extremely dull and it was causing more problems than good so we'll come back and finish off so all he's got to do is get her neck and then that one leg over there and about half of her back legs but that gummit poor thing she looks silly tina it's okay we're, we're not laughing at you we're laughing with you okay Look how much bigger just her neck looks versus the others. Rufus, 
You wanna go play in the creek, buddy? All right, well, I got everybody haltered up minus one. We're, we're only gonna take three right now because we actually have, where are you going? Just hold, hey, just hold the lead rope under his chin. He'll be fine. But uh, we brought a special guest. Yes, look, Brooks. That's a little baby Packa. <laughs> What's yeah. on your What's on your shirt, Brooks? Look, you got packas on your shirt. You want to so hold since it? We're, uh, Here you go. Since we're taking an extra small human, mm -hmm. I figured we would uh, only go with three alpacas instead of four. Only take three. Yes. Yep. And like uh, Rufus, he's making Emily nervous. Emily's definitely making, or Emily is definitely nervous around Rufus for some reason. All right, I'll hold the camera. Y'all hold the packas. Let's go to the creek. So if you folks have never seen an alpaca play in the creek, you're in for a treat because we did this last year and it was, it's hilarious. It's so much fun watching them. They love the water, don't they, Houston? Yes, they do. Are you coming? Come on. Come on, Brett. You want me to hold you? Come here. <laughs> what do you think? Huh? You pet her? See, she wants some lemons. Emily, all the kids at school are going to be super jealous of you for taking your alpaca for a walk. Yeah. Nobody else in your school does this. Mm -mm. Hey, Brooks is doing a great job too. <laughs> yeah, and Brooks isn't embarrassed by it either. No. <laughs> Girl, huh? Come on, buddy. Here, you don't want to walk on the slab. It's slippery. Come on. Come on. Come on, Rufus. Come on. Come on, Lucy. Lucy's in. She didn't waste any time. Roof is still thinking about it. Yeah. Okay, no. <laughs> Gotta find a comfortable spot. <laughs> Technical difficulties. Yeah. <laughs> Roof is laying down on the job. I think Rufus was made for the beach. What do you think, Mom? Come on. Yes. Let's take him to Pensacola. Oh, you think we could get him in on the dog beach? <laughs> I don't know about it. <laughs> hey, it's all right, buddy. We, we know the feeling. Yeah, she's trying to lay down now. Yeah. Where are you going? Don't step on my feet. Oh. Mm. <laughs> Lucy's thinking about laying down, but she didn't know if she would be tall enough. <laughs> you come out here? Are you struggling? Mm. Mm. What's the matter, Dolly? Don't you lay down like Rufus was. You'll feel good. Watch, watch, just watch the water. Yep, it it's just sheds good. off of them, doesn't it? Yeah. That's why they don't mind standing out when it rains. Oh. Go so tight. <laughs> scared the crap out of me. Oh, look at it. It's slick. Easy. Easy. Just be easy. It's slick. No need to panic, girls. No need to panic. Come on. Get away. Come on, buddy. 
Oh, oh. Jeez, Rufus. Jeez. What are you doing, bro? Maybe he's trying to drive his throw. I don't know. Did you get it? <laughs> no, <laughs> he did not. Just a woman and her alpacas. Hey, it's not me. Oh. That was Rufus. Don't spit at me. Rufus Nelson with the time, buddy. Well, he might disagree. Well, if he does, then that's a problem. <laughs> Rufus, Dolly says no. No means no, right, Dolly? Where you going, Rufus? I'm all up in my business. He knows my personal space. What is it, Rufus? Oh, I point the camera at her and then you say something, huh? These two are ready to head back to the barn. Now they're all tangled up. Huh. Brooks, here. help me. They're tangled. Here. Okay. Listen. Listen, Linda, don't spit on me. Demon, let go of it. Oh, you got two. Yeah. Jeez, Linda. All right. We'll see y'all back at the house, I guess. Good job. Here. Here. That's an old buffalo, is it, Brooks? A teeny tiny buffalo. Dolly knows exactly where she's headed. She must uh she must be worried about old Tina and wondering why Tina didn't get to go. She led the way back. All right, we made it back to the barn. Dolly here's really concerned. She wants to go see uh, Tina, but Dolly's our old lady of the bunch. She's uh she's getting way up there in years. So they look so skinny, but I promise you they're very well fed. We worm them, we vaccinate them, we do everything we can. <laughs> Lucy here, <laughs> her old halter didn't fit. She outgrew it, and uh, this one clearly is not made for her. But uh, it worked. It worked, didn't it? Mm -hmm. Brooks, there what you are you doing? Me. Brooks! Hold those for me. I'm not going to say that the alpacas are the best livestock guardians, but he's a very good alarm system. He will uh, let you know if something is here that doesn't belong. Or the donkeys. Yeah, the donkeys do too. They just look so skinny. <laughs> So there you have it. That's uh, that's how we shear and uh, take our alpacas to the creek. <laughs> alpacas are such a strange animal. They are very different. They're just an odd animal. Their mannerisms and the way they act, they're, they're just, they're strange. But it's something cool and something fun to have around on the farm. And, you know, quite honestly, if it wasn't for the YouTube channel and stuff and for video content for you guys, we probably never would have gotten the alpacas. They're just not really a a beneficial asset to the farm other than maybe somewhat of a livestock guardian but they're cool they're a lot of fun we've had them around for a couple years now and uh, they're just they're interesting and uh, they love water so last year we put out like when it got really hot we'd put a sprinkler out in their pasture and let them play in the sprinkler and then taking them to the creek and i don't know it's just fun and different and i don't know we're not experts in the alpaca world they're kind of cool, I guess. But uh, anyways, huge thank you to Harry's for sponsoring today's video. I couldn't think of a better video to partner with Harry's on than one where we were shearing the alpacas. Kind of fits. So be sure to check the link in the description box. Go check out Harry's. 
I'd sure appreciate it, and I know they would too. So, guys, that's all we've got for today. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed it. Y'all have a great day, and as always, we'll see you on the next video.